What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Jeepers Creepers 4, Jeepers Creepers Reborn again, and talking about whether or not the Creeper will have some alterations to the powers that we already know that it possesses in the upcoming fourth film. Now, in the past, what we have been teased is, I'll start off with Jeepers Creepers 2. Jeepers Creepers, the original, we did not get any of that teased. Jeepers Creepers 2 kind of started teasing us with the fact that the creeper had telekinesis and then it wasn't really addressed again well I, I i'll get back to that where it started was when taggart was looking at this knife dagger that jack jr found in the cornfield after billy had been taken while he was sitting inside of course uh very sad and depressed after losing billy he looks at the dagger looks at the engravings on it and then it just kind of shoots out of his hand almost as if there's some type of telekinetic telekinesis going on between where the creeper can move objects with its mind and there's some type of connection with the weapons it has created for itself and you know just the telekinesis that it possesses the moving objects uh at a distance with with its mental power basically so how exactly does it get re i guess readdressed later on in that second film the dagger is at the head of the harpoon when he goes to confront the creeper by saving the kids on the bus he shoots it at the creeper and then it goes directly into them now what i am thinking is that maybe that's because of the telekinetic link between the creeper and its objects that it possesses and creates for itself it literally goes right into him i don't think there's a moment a moment where he he misses him not once. And I think that's because of the fact that he led the harpoon with the object that shot out of his hand earlier. So that's like the only other time we got a glimpse of that. Jeepers Creepers 3 though, of course, with the budget that they had to work with, everything came off very hokey. There, we're seeing the objects in the back of his truck come into his hand at will with him having not with him not even having to go and pick it up or anything like that. And then we we see it like we see it once just i think once when he is going to kill the kids on their bikes and then they somehow were running and their feet are off the ground by the time they were attached to the tree i don't, still don't understand that scene but whether or not we'll see something like that in the fourth film i don't know but i do remember that also at the end of the third film when he is getting confronted by Sh sergeant tubbs and tashtigo he is confronted with he is confronted by tash Deagle, who is shooting and we know we get that awful slow motion scene and then he comes down on him he has killed him with his his battle axe he walks up walks away from the body doesn't turn around throws his hand back tash Deagle's body props up and then the battle axe flies out of his head into the creeper's hand and the body just falls down more display of the telekinesis right there that of course though just looked very hokey given how it was shot given the budget that they had to work with just everything about it came off very cartoonish the editing didn't look that good the effects again were not on par to make you take that seriously it all looked cartoony so the part where I think they might have gone too far, though, is still with the truck. Him on top of the truck and the truck moving. And again, the only reason I say that is because of how everything else played out after that. Because that one shot of the truck and him on top of it while it's moving, that that alone wasn't wasn't that bad. I will admit that. It just got progressively worse, and it made that scene look bad based off of how all the other telekinesis moments were portrayed on screen and how they just look due to the awful budget. <laughs> So like in the fourth entry, if they were to do this again, hopefully it's something more grounded. I mean, like him using him moving the truck with his mind. I don't care about that. You can go ahead and do that. You can have the harpoons and stuff come into his hand. But I guess the way you frame it and the way you based off of the editing, it's going to be really what makes or break that because a lot of the stuff in jeepers creepers 3 was just it, it looked cartoony and it was ridiculous i guess really with the whole telekinesis thing since it was first teased in the second film you need to have it grounded 
in some in some aspects don't go overboard with it like don't have everything he's doing be telekinesis based let him still go around pick up objects and stuff like that we at least we see a glimpse of him doing that in the short snippet we got he's going to his truck and he's actually grabbing his battle axe he's not having the battle axe shoot into his hand or anything like that i remember actually in the original cathedral script there was a moment where the creeper had a where he was going after his truck because they had his truck impounded ever since the events of the first film, I guess. And there was a moment where Derry Jr. was driving and Trisha was on the phone with him. And she thought that the truck was on him and that it means the creeper was there. But it was some officers driving the truck trying to teleport it somewhere or transport it somewhere rather. And then what ends up happening is they find something in the back of the truck. Next thing you know, the creeper has arrived after being reborn and he kills them. But what he does is he makes one of his weapons pop out of the officer that he killed and it just pops back into his hand i do remember there was a moment like that in cathedral and i think that's why we got something similar to that with tash Digo at the end of jeepers creepers 3 the one that we actually got so that scene in and of itself again looked cartoony in the version of jeepers creepers 3 that we ultimately ended up getting whether or not they decide to explore that power again in jeepers creepers 4 who knows they could also retcon it and make it well at that point i wouldn't even say you're retconning it you're just not having him display his power because i for as long as we can know as long as we've known there's some type of telekinesis going on with that monster the monster has telekinesis so is, even if you don't have that, that on display and you just decide to not put that out there anymore in this franchise I wouldn't say that you retconning that power unless of course for you do it for a prolonged period of time we don't see any signs of that ever again but even still i know some of you could argue that it doesn't matter the creeper still possesses telekinesis powers and just decides not to use it so do you think those powers should be explored in jeepers creepers 4 or do you think that they should just leave that alone or do you want to see even new powers get revealed that the creeper possesses because i know originally i made a video about this before something was going on where the creeper had like super speed at the end of the original film and he was running so fast that he almost caught on fire while he was chasing Darry and trisha who had recently just jumped into his truck and left the police station and then of course there was a big train crash that would end in the whole thing Derry still died of course and i think we got the original ending but everything was cut due to cut down to the budget restrictions but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you have already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video